One day, I was going through shots just as usual. And then I asked myself, can I turn this into a productivity tool? And thus, my journey began and I found all the pros and cons as well as the ways to optimize them to turn these shots into a productivity tool. Just to clarify, I will refer everything from shots, TikTok or Reels into short form content. One of the major benefits to this is that it allows you to expose to the world from different views, from different perspectives, from different countries, from different things very quickly and very efficiently. And the last thing is that it is simply too difficult for us to stop using it completely because all of our peers, everyone surrounding us is still using short form content. So what my idea is that instead of completely banning myself from using short form content, why not I just control it? Let's move on to the things that need to be optimized. So one of the first one being it is an echo chamber effect. So what the echo chamber basically means is that once you like a certain content they will continue to feed you with that content it always surrounds you with people who have a similar ideas with you this works as a great thing to build communities and build similar interests but it is also very dangerous because it only surrounds you with people who agree with you but never show you the people who are totally different ideas with you this will make you extremely polarized and being reaffirmed by your own ideas only however later we'll discuss on how to safely navigate through this dangerous system. Short form content also tries to show you the perfect world. Slowly and surely change your perspective on what is normal subtly and unconsciously because people always want to show their perfect idealistic world in social media especially in short form content. This will make you more depressed as you try to compare yourself with other people surrounding yourself. Now try to recall 5 short form content you just viewed not long ago. Can you remember everything? So this is the issue with short form content. You don't even remember what you just saw because it is so fast, so quick, your brain can't even process them properly. But don't you worry, we'll later see how we can tackle this problem and then use it to its maximum. Try to see when you are using short form content. Is it because it's out of habit? Try to avoid something that is very hard for you to do. Well, personally, I felt the exact same way. I realized that I've been watching more YouTube short whenever I have something to procrastinate for or have something very difficult to do. And the last thing we have is that it is extremely easy to thread false information and information that might not have the right context. This is because information can very easily be distorted when it is being converted into a short form content. Sometimes even short form content focuses too much on entertainment rather than the educational information that they want to be. And sometimes no one simply fact checks for this information. So now let's get into the juicy part on how to optimize all of them. The first one is to follow people who have a totally different idea and can challenge your ideas mentally. This is because we want to tackle the echo chamber effect and it also trains us to tolerate other people's ideas and try to brainstorm for better ideas than rather than your own ideas only. This is to produce doubts in your own belief and also ideas and suggestions and this will bring creativity and understanding towards other people and to your solution as well. Next, we can follow people who have certain level of credibility. Actually, this is a very difficult thing to do because no one can be fully trusted on the internet but at least try to follow people who are least wrong about it so if you feel like this video has given you valuable insight like and subscribe and comment down in what are the tips that you use personally to optimize this system the next thing is that we need to take a break actually there's a feature inside youtube app to remind you to take a rest in between intervals for example 5 minutes 10 minutes or 15 minutes at the very least you can at least take a breath and think through whether or not this is the thing that you really want to do during that time what I'm trying to say is that you can be mindful of your own behavior. Are you being distracted by all those notifications that your friend just sent you? I really like the focus feature on iPhone because it will really allow me to select what are the notifications that I really want to select from and receive from from that part of the day. Then also, we have to pretend everything from this short form content is not really true and take it with a grain of salt. Never truly believe on what you see on this short form content and try to do your own research to find out whether or not this information is right or wrong. We should connect with the community. Try to follow the content creator that you like. Try to search up their long form content so you have a better context of what he's trying to say and also the information he's trying to bring at a deeper level so you can truly understand what he's saying. There are more things to optimize in life. 
So if you like to optimize your studying time and you want to memorize anything and everything inside of your subject to get the best grade, you can watch this video that I think you will definitely like.